As an amateur golfer, it's often difficult to select the right type of club to suit you. So it was at Wentworth we heard how advances in technology were helping players choose the right club for their own specific swing. Initially, it was designed on a brief to purely find the best shaft for each golfer. It wasn't aimed at tall players, it was aimed at a very broad spectrum, which we think we've achieved. It really is the first chance for a consumer to get uh, a tour level fitting uh, at, a, at a pro shop because it does give such fantastic information. In order to measure a golfer's swing DNA, five swings need to be taken on a shaft optimizer to provide a number of readings. Those combined results dictate the ideal shaft. It's designed to work out how they put energy in, into their golf shaft, how they, and, so, and therefore how they create their power, and then how they pass that onto the golf ball. So the idea um, has been really well received because ultimately when, they, when we get them the right shaft they hit the middle of the club face very, very consistently. Although this tool is probably most useful to the amateur golfer, it doesn't mean that tour professionals don't need some swing guidance from time to time. There's no numbers on here, right? No. The guys uh, who've been with the staff for the last three years, uh, probably Daniel Vansick is probably the guy I work most with. Um, primarily because uh, he's so he hits it so far, uh, we have to try and rein him back a bit and really control things. So it's been sort of a, a long process to get to get him to where he is, and obviously he's had a couple of wins on the way. So um, I think we're doing a pretty good job with that one. The 2009 BMW Italian Open was one of those highlights for Daniel Vancic, and the Argentine is now renowned as one of the biggest hitters on tour. His six high head speed is about 103, 104 miles an hour which is incredible power. In terms of the style of swing, he changes direction from backswing to downswing very aggressively. Um, so he needs a shaft that's going to be able to support uh, the load that he puts into the shaft. The shaft is something that's individual to each and every golfer, depending on their type of swing, as can be seen in the case of two other tour players, Ignacio Garrido and Luke Donnelly. Ignacio's um, quite an unusual style of swing. Um, probably. It's a, it, there's always a good comparison with him and Luke Donald. Um, their club head speed uh, with a six iron is approximately 90 to 92 miles an hour, but they create their power very differently. Um, Luke's uh, is a gradual acceleration into the ball, so he never really stresses the shaft that much. Ignacio, on the other hand, uses something much, much stiffer, even though he creates the same amount of head speed. He has what we call a very late release, uh, and certainly when, when you look at the release factor numbers on shaft optimizer for, for um, Luke and Ignacio, they're very, very different, even though they create the same amount of clubhead speeds. I think it's uh, very useful because of its simplicity. You know, it's, uh, it's a very simple gadget um, that measures uh, the shaft, uh, all different kinds of things in, uh, in the golf shaft. And um, because of that, it gives you great feedback immediately. And um, you know, for me, I I've not really changed my shafts that too much. but. It's still, when I use it, it tells me that I'm using the, the correct shaft, which you know, gives me uh, um, confidence that I know I'm playing the right equipment. We've certainly seen that confidence in the case of fellow Englishman Chris Wood over recent weeks. The man from Bristol has surely reaped the rewards from knowing his swing DNA. The driver we found him goes incredibly straight. In Italy, going into the last round, he was third in uh, driving accuracy and fourth in driving distance. So the driver we've got him right now is, is pretty much as good as we could do. So to get that handicap down, know your swing DNA.